जय श्री राधे सो आई वॉज आस्क टू रीड टूडे सो वी विल रीड वर्स नंबर फिफ्टी फाइव फ्रॉम राधा रास सूरनिधि and the text is actually titled by anandas babaji with bhajan in braj may my mind always dwell in radha's tender lotus feet may my mind always dwell in radha's tender lotus feet as i loudly and very affectionately sing hari's name to her serve her with many perfumed paraphernalia and most blissfully follow her in vrindavan again may my mind always dwell in radha's tender lotus feet as i loudly and very affectionately sing hari's name to her serve her with many perfumed paraphernalia and most blissfully follow her in vrindavan so there's a very long commentary from Shri Ananda Das Babaji and because we are not reading this the first time and usually we stopped somewhere in the middle i would like if you agree to jump a little bit and come more to the more fast to the second half because in the beginning ananda das babaji is telling about the few point of sadak avesh and then later on he is coming to the inner meaning so if you don't mind gurudev then i would take out some points from the beginning and then go fast to the second half of this verse so commentary this verse is spoken in an external consciousness sadak avesh shila rupa goswami has mentioned the five most powerful items of devotion in his bhakti ras amrita sindhu 1.2 238 and 244 these confidential items of devotion living in braj worshiping the deity and chanting the holy name are so powerful that if an offenseless person practices them even a little bit even unconsciously or without faith bhava will take birth in his heart 
these five extraordinary items of sadhana have such inconceivable powers that they simultaneously reveal bhava and its object in the heart of the sadaka. I think this was one of the first very extraordinary points. Another as Babaji is making always just extraordinary points. So maybe some of you great souls want to comment on this. These five extraordinary items of sadhana have such inconceivable powers that they simultaneously reveal bhava and its object in the heart of the sadhaka. So here is mentioned that from this we can understand that Sri Rupa did not see the form of the holy name as mere syllables. There was a statement from Srila Jiva Goswami and Srimad Rupa Goswami was actually giving the sentence, the two nails of the holy name are being worshipped by the luster that emanates from the jewel string of the ground ornaments of all Vedic scriptures. So from that statement, we can understand that Sri Rupa did not see the form of the holy name as mere syllables. So the holy name and the person are non-different. We know these points. The holy name, name can be chanted in two ways. So this is the next sentence, which is actually very interesting. Two ways to chant this holy name, which is non-different from the person. So if we have the name and the person and it's non-different, we can chant in two ways. Ordinarily or with affection. The ordinary offenseless chanter will reach the divine abode of Lord of the Lord, but the affectionate chanter attains the proximity. Proximity means like very near, like a neighbor sitting directly beside you. So if we chant Radha's names, Radharani is there. If we chant in the right way. She is anyway there, but do we recognize? If we chant with affection, then we attain the proximity. There's given an example of Srimad Bhagavatam 10.81.31, where Krishna is telling to the gopis, O Braj Sundaris, devotion to me bestows immortality to the living beings. And your affection for me has forcibly attracted me to you and 
brought me here. So then another point is made by Anandadas Babaji. Rade Gopanaji. Yes, please, Suniti. I just thought it was such a beautiful topic that you and Braja Sundari picked because also yesterday in the first three hours of our morning darshan and session with Gurudev and Russian Zoom, it was the subject of chanting the holy name. So I thought how beautiful it is that uh, these arrangements happen, that you choose a verse about the quality of the chanting. And um, yeah, a lot of time this ordinary chanting is going on in my mala. But Gurudev said this is a long distance call. Long distance means <laughs> I feel distant. And I feel, oh, Swamini, please help me. Gurudev, please help me. All Vaishnavas, give me your blessings. I want to feel more. And then at one point, when there comes affection, when there comes a longing and a feeling in the heart, then it becomes a, a local call. And then they feel close and Good, it feels close. I feel him in every step, in every every feeling that I have actually also because of mercy only. I cannot even produce these feelings by myself. I just connect internally and I often I just become conscious of the grace that has happened or is happening in my life. And by connecting to the feelings of gratitude and uh, softness and um, also helplessness, but in a positive way, then I feel that this is uh, bringing the affection. And this affection, again, makes me feel closer to, to Swamini. And then maybe I remember also who I am then I can uh, feel my being from the spiritual perspective. Because often it starts with the mind and the senses, because they are engaged in the chanting, right? We are making up our mind. I want to have my mala. I want to take it in my hand. I want to feel close to my Devi and my Devi and all my Vaishnavas. And then later on, it becomes something that is more emotional. And then it becomes, like you always say, Gurudev, a local call. And when these local calls, they have, a, they have also like a response. And I feel, uh, Gauravani, that you and Braja Sundari were choosing this verse. It is like a response also. Because of Swamini, she is arranging that we hear also the topics that will make us grow and have more local calls. That's all that I want to share in this moment. Thank you very much. Proximity, local call. This is actually what we want to get. We want to be near, but without investing feeling bhava, how we can come near? It's like when I, I talk with a person, I have some exchange with words with a person and I cannot feel the person how near I can come if I don't try to feel what that person wants to tell me because words are the one side but 
what is behind the words, what feelings are actually transported by that words. And usually the transported feelings are much more, much more important than what the person is saying. Rajeshwari Briya, maybe your microphone can be muted. Thank you. So much more important is the feeling what comes. And it's the same while we chant. We know that because we have this experience. Some people, when they chant, like also we chant in Bhajan, some people, they can transport a feeling to others. And for some, it's more hard. So if we want to come close to Radharani, we, we should be prepared to go in this feelings. How we say when a person is uh, mitfühlend? Huh? No. Empathic. Empathic. Yes, that's the word I was missing. Empathic. And this we can get by the mercy of persons who understand the feelings of our Swamini. Because first, we may have no plan, like me, no idea what actually are these feelings behind that words. But Anandadas Babaji and Guru Manjari are trying to help us to get exactly that picture, what feelings are behind the words. And Anandadas Babaji is here explaining also the chanting and he's trying to get the feeling behind. So how to chant in a way that actually proximity can come up. Swamini will be with us. So as you said, Suniti, this is a very important point. So please, all you merciful persons here, share with us so that we can go deeper and understand more. At least I am sure you understand more. So please share with us on that point. Mahavani, I was touched also by your words and it made me remember or try to express how my feelings, if I have any, and I'm always also begging and praying to get more feelings, how they develop. And I, I must say that I can develop very good feelings when I'm together with people who are already living in their feelings when they are chanting. And that is uh, not only while chanting Harinam, but like you said, Kirtan. And also I feel when we become more sensitive or empathic, as you call it, then uh, it's very easy to catch the feelings of others. And the vibration of other persons they help me also to come to f closer feelings to Swamini. And of course, especially when I listen to uh, Bada Kata from Gurudev, and I try to always go very close to Gurudev and listen very deeply, like drinking with the ears. I try. It's not that I always can do it as much as I wanted it. but um, And I have also noticed when I have a time where I have no taste or not so much taste, then I put on the chanting of Radha Govinda Das Babaji of Param Guru Dev. There's one very nice 
recording also. And I just, uh, I can connect to his feelings when he is chanting. That is a very uh, good help for me sometimes. It's not always the same. It's going on in different, different uh, layers. But usually the point is, yeah, to come close. Yes, I would like to hear, we have our exalted Jayananda Maharaj is here and Goranga is here and all the devotees. Please help us with some sharing how you get into the local call feeling. <laughs> Just feel whenever you want to share something, then please do it. Otherwise, I will just continue and maybe the text from Ananda Das Babaji is giving you some inspiration more to share. So the next point actually is here. The loud chanting. It is said loud chanting is the best. Bhakti Sandarbha 269. Those who chant loudly do not only benefit themselves but also all other living entities. So we are still in the Satak point of view. I just want to remember in this connection because we know there's also a point that we want on another level to chant without even move the tongue completely out of Sadak. But that's another level. Here it's still for the Sadaka wish. I just remembered when I started to chant the first time in my life, and I wanted to share that with you, I didn't have any taste, no, nothing, zero. And all others told me, oh, you know, when you chant, the Lord will come and all this. I had no, really no experience. And one day I was so upset because of that. I was in the forest and I was chanting like usual trying to get some connection, but it didn't work out. And then I was really screaming, really loud. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, really loud. Like some crying for help. Why it doesn't work in my case? And exactly in this moment, I had the first, really the first taste. My knees were like not there for a moment. I was just breaking down, lying on the floor, and I felt like an embrace. And taste came to chant the holy name. And really from that day on, I was chanting eight rounds a day and there was a little taste in every day. So this experience made very clear to me that we need to have this anxiety. We really want it. We need help. We are not chanting from a high position. Oh, you know, I'm chanting the holy name, you know, all these others, what they are. <laughs> Wrong conception. <laughs> we are chanting from a platform that we need the mercy. We really need it. It's not just that we could need it, you know, we could have it or no, we really need it. We are completely in need 
under pressure, we really want to have the mercy of our Radhika. And of course, it's not so easy to take this in every day's chanting and every day's practice because so many influences all around us every day in this, especially in these Western countries. But it should be a try again and again, every day. And not just in chanting Hare Krishna. Also the other mantras, actually, it's very connected and we will hear it from Ananda Das Babaji later on. How connected is this? We heard it already yesterday. Kam Gayatri is also connected and we will hear more about this. So the highest worshipper sees the statue of the deity as being directly himself or herself. The name, the deity and another point, the constitution are all one. That's an interesting point also. The constitution of God is written here. So what is the constitution of my Swamini right now? What name is the right name in this moment? Is she Manini? Is she Lilamai? What is the constitution? The name, the deity and the constitution are all one. And this is very personal actually. And this is our goal, to be very personal. Because if we are very personal, we will get a very personal answer. There is no difference between them. They are all transcendental. So Sripad knows this, of course. And Sripad finally expresses the desire to live in Vrindavan and to chant in this way and to serve in that way. And this is underlined by Srila Ananda Das Babaji before he comes to the other few, the few of the inside. Before he is going to Siddhavesh, he is making it very clear from the point of Satakavesh. And now, Srila Ananda Das Babaji on page 134, he is saying, Sripad says, let my mind always stay with the soft lotus feet of Sri Rata, practicing these three items of devotion, Nama, Kirtan, Arjana, and Raja Vasa. So far for the Sadaka Vesh external prayers of Sripad. There is also an internal meaning to this verse, Sita Avesh. Sripad as Kinkari is serving Sri Rata in Yavat. Sri Rata's agony of separation from her lover 
simply increases. And when she finally faints, the maidservant revives her by loudly singing Hari's names in her ears. Srila Rupa Goswami writes in Uchwala Nilamani, Sringara Veda 46. When Radhika enters a Kadamba forest on the bank of the Yamuna, where bumblebees are singing, she faints. But her girlfriends revive her by loudly singing Hari's name to her. The kinkaris chant the 16 words, 32 syllables, Hare Krishna mantra to Sri Radhika, of which there is the following sweet word for word explanation. So I find it very interesting that here it is said, her girlfriends revive her by loudly singing Hari's name. But then the next sentence, the Kinkaris chant the 16 word, 32 syllable Hare Krishna mantra to Sri Radhika. So there's a difference. Maybe someone wants to share on that. Jai Sirade. I think in the morning we also spoke about when Sachinandan was reading that the name and the form and so on are not different. Right? Yeah. And um, so we can imagine how powerful the chanting of the Manjaris is that if they chant the holy name, actually the form is, is there. And this will get a reaction on Swamini. <laughs> there is this not like we chant Hare Krishna. No. It's a living, a living chanting of the Maha Mantra. And it creates the atmosphere for Swamini, that she is in the same moment in contact to her beloved, to her, to, uh, her Mohan. So, this is the Siddha, the Siddha of the Manjaris. We cannot imagine this, how they, what, what happened when they chant the mantras. Right? I cannot imagine. <laughs> But it's nice to meditate on this deep point. What is the meaning when Manjari is chanting the mantras? These mantras are really alive then. And uh, we try to come on this point that we make visible what is in the mantra. Uh, that we experience the secrets of the mantra. This is why we chant also. That we can feel and get it, touch it. What is the secret in the mantra? Thank you. So we can only 
feel it when we are in our Bhava Deha. Otherwise, not possible. So it is said here, her girlfriends revive her bodily, uh, her loudly singing Hari's name to her. Her girlfriends, her friends on her eye-to-eye -eye platform are singing Hari's names to her. But does this help? Like you said, just right now, uh, just right now, Gora, what is their experience? They sing, and this is actually immediately there. So they want to have Hari for themselves. This is not enough to revive our Swamini. So the Kinkaris have to chant. And what they chant? They chant the 16 word, 32 syllable Hare Krishna mantra to Sri Radhika. And now it will be explained what it means. That's a big difference. Once Sri Radhika tried to stop the tears, she cried out of separation from Krishna. She tried by meditating on him and constantly repeating these names of him. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare Hare, Hare Rama, Hare Rama, Rama Rama, Hare Hare. Hare Nama Shravana Matrena, Mama Mano Hare Si. Hare. You steal my mind when I simply hear your name. Krishna Vangsi Vajena Krihat Vanam Mamakashasi. The next Krishna. So Hare, we heard, now we hear Krishna. By playing your flute, you attract me from my house into the forest. Hare Lacha Dhyadhikam Harasi, the next Hare. You steal my shame and my patience. Krishna Sangha Saropyena Mamakasha Si, the next Krishna. You attract me with your bodily fragrance. Krishna Sangha Lavendyena Pralopya Mamakasha Si, Krishna. With your bodily luster, you attract me and make me greedy. Krishna Sarvati Kanandena Pralopya Namakashasi. Krishna, with your supreme bliss, you attract me and make me greedy. Hare Svabahu Nibadamam Pushpa Sayam Pratinayasi Hare You bind me in your arm and take me to a bed of flowers Hare Tatra Niveshitaya me antariyam balat harasi. Hare. 
There you take off my undergarments. In this way, there is also a very relishable and confidential meaning to the Hare Rama half of the mantra. The kinkaris try to soothe Sri Radhika's burning pain by singing these names to her and by offering her cooling substances such as sandalwood pulp, camphor, lotus stems, and so on. When Radha's girlfriends notice that she still does not regain consciousness, they sent the kinkaris out to find Krishna himself. Only his bodily touch can revive her. So now we heard about a confidential meaning of this Mahamantra. For Sri Radhika, which is very interesting for the Kinkaris to know, how to revive Swamini. And we can see very clear that there is a connection to other mantras. And Srila Prabhupada always said in the Hare Krishna Maha Mantra, all other mantras are included. Now, slowly, we can see that this is actually the truth. So many meanings, so many different kind of mantras inside of this Hare Krishna Maha Mantra. So it depends on our realization or the mercy that we can get realizations. So it depends on our begging for the mercy and getting that mercy, how deep we can understand. And by understanding, I mean, of course, like always, feeling it. We need the Bhava Deha to come into that. Otherwise, this will stay a secret. So only by the mercy of someone who dwells already in this, in this deep meaning, we can get by their sharing some part of that, some drops. So please share with us. Before to interact with me, and now there is more Japanese translator. Please help me, Japanese translator. Thank you. Japan to start. Thank you. Who will translate to for Japanese? Teacher. Yeah. Okay. Thank <laughs> you. 
राधे 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 आई एम स्टिल ऑन दिस व्हाट गौरवानी वाज शेयरिंग एंड रीडिंग दैट द साखी सिंह to swamini and the manjuri singh so externally both are singing trying to regain her but seems there is a very fine difference in the feeling of their singing and i don't know i just really want to hear from from uh, you from goranga sundar actually i just feel uh, if he could explain this a bit more in depth to us what uh, is happening here in this leela what is here the fine difference of bhav and feeling for swamini when her dearest sakis are singing but also her kinkaris are singing to her goranga ji please appear on the screen no it's bad for you to see i need no i i don't know it just came precious. from my heart came from my heart i wanted to ask you please i mean all these subjects has to be realized deep in the heart and all these realizations is very hard to express to the words but we are very fortunate that we can listen baba's words rupa goswami's words and so on so this is some kind of guidelines and uh, i like this commentary very much i didn't read so long time thank you goravani but approach to holy name is the most important thing how we approach and the years are passing and passing and passing and we don't know how to approach and baba is giving here specifically in the beginning of his commentary that affection and attention so true affection and attention taste will start to appear without taste it's not possible actually to relish even the whiff of essence of holy name so this taste is a crucial point in the life of devotee up to this taste his chanting is ordinary chanting why is ordinary because there is no taste there is some endeavor some vows duties but there is no taste and this kind of chanting is also very good for the beginning and krishna with his own words is saying that this ordinary chanting can bring devotee to divine abode of the lord so it means namabas namabas offenseless but without affection offenseless chanting without affection can bring the devotee maximum to the vaikuntha shortly to say and goravani was very nicely explained the next step is this affection chanting with affection which can bring us closer to ishtade so how my question to myself is also how this affection can appear in the heart 
by, by close association with devotees who already have affection, Suniti Jisadas. There is no other way, or maybe devotee can have some deep Sukritis from his previous, previous lives, and immediately when he hears holy name, he starts ecstatically to chant. But most of us, we are not on that level, so we need a close association of those who are deeply diving in this affection. So this is the first step. Because from that step, Ruchi, taste will start to appear in the heart of Sadaka, Neophyte devotee. And the more taste is becoming condensed, other feelings like Goravani, red, Bhavas will be become thick and thicker. And the more taste will come, more relishing will come, it means more relationship will be established. But for that, we need some important things. We need to define which kind of relationship with the God I want. And in that relationship, does actually I want relationship with God, or I want closer relationship with that person who is the source of everything? From that point, automatically comes in that relationship, he knows who is he. He is fixed. <laughs> But who am I? This is the second most important step. When the devotee established these two steps, I want this specific relationship, and I want to attain this identity of myself, automatically, Ruchi is starting to appear and becoming condensed and condensed and condensed. So, with the power of Ruchi, with the power of taste, Bhava appears, attachment appears, of course, and what is said, attachment and affection are important. So, like my sister and brother said, this affection must be developed in the association of those who already have affection. Like Gurudev is saying, we have to be infused with spiritual affections. This kind of affection doesn't exist in the material world, doesn't exist in material relationship. This kind of special taste is result of special infusion. It's not ordinary taste, it's just special taste for my desirable relationship, somewhat. So we have here very clearly this kind of development of chanting tr at least through the three levels with offenses, apparatus, namabasa, some kind of reflection of pure chanting, but the goal is shudanam. The goal is shudanam pure chanting because only through this pure chanting we can attain close, proximate, association with persons who are already transcendental, pure. And this is possibly only with established and fixed Saiba. So then we, can, we are coming to this point 
when this blissful kind of chanting brings devotee to the position that he is chanting, but always his chanting is a crying. He is always crying out of his pure heart. He is crying for his Ishtadev, for Radhika. And Gopinath was asking the question, actually. And this kind of question is a question which uh, answer on this question each devotee who has to relish in his heart. If someone is fixed in Sakiba, he will relish in one way. But if someone is fixed in Manjari Bhav, he will relish in another way. If someone is not fixed at all in anything, Practically speaking, he will not relish anything. Everything will stay on the platform of theory. So, gopis here. And I tried to find, when Goravani was reading, it's written in, is it San Sanskrit or Bengali? Priya Sakis, or girlfriends, it said. It can mean girlfriends of Radhika, but also it can mean the Kinkaris or Manjaris. In one sense, Priya Sakis are Manjaris already. And Gurudev can explain a little bit more about that. Because different kinds of Sakis, but two specific kinds of sakis, nitya sakis and priya sakis usually are mentioned for kinkaris and monjaris. Very nice. You are explaining that. All they are, all you are explaining that. So nice. Yeah, I'm so nice. Can you continue, Gurudev, please? And answer Gor Gopinath's question. I want to say more. Please want to... don't stop now, Guranga. It's like you opened the chocolate box, but now you closed it again. Yeah. That is the point, but actually. <laughs> That's the point. <laughs> we should relish it. Because in that way, Lila will be our, and Nama will be our own realization. And like Gora Sundar said, there is no difference between Lila and Nama Rupa Guna. But as much as devotee is condensed in his Taiba, he will understand these slight differences, subtle differences. And it must be his own realization, not said everything so openly. Now we come to the point of the blessing of our Swamini. We think so many about our own doing to analyze many things and to understand many things. But actually, if we decide to be a manjari of our Swamini. She will guide us. She is giving the desire in our heart. She is bringing to the, to the right association. She is giving everything in our hearts. This is not by our doing. It's an act of her mercy, of her love to us. And this love comes by the blessing of our Guru. 
because he is the treasure. He is the the gefes, container, the container of all of this. So, but this way we are walking is not not the way we walking actually. It's the way of her mercy. It's not our doing. We get everything from her. We only have to decide what you say, Goranga Sunna. For me, this is the secret. She is the she is giving all mercy to us. And we are only have to be open for her mercy. This is my experience. What I can say, so needy. And Gopina, what can I say? Our Goranga Sundara is a little bit hiding today. He's playing hide and seek with you. He knows what you like to hear, actually, because he can feel your feelings. And I feel that you already know what you feel and what is the secret. So I feel that to say it in my small words, which are not so enlightened and not so sweet like Oranga Sundara's words, but I, what I feel from you, Gopinath, what you are eager to listen, and maybe you can also explain more on this later on, is that the, the kinkaris, they will call the names filled with their own feelings that they have from the prashad that they have received from all the memories of what they have been serving Radha and Mohan in their in their moments of union. So we have heard many times that that vibration and that uh, sound is so sweet and is always with Swamini because they are always together, actually. It may seem that they are separated, but I feel it is like the same with Rad and Mohan. They are really never separated. And so also the Kinkaris, they are always together with Swamini and they have only one desire, to bring Swamini together with Mohan. And filled with that desire, when they are chanting, then these vibrations, they are filled with these memories and with these longings and with this pure sound of their love. So that will be another contents as if the girlfriends are chanting Hari's name. Because as Goranga Sundra has explained so nicely that the sound vibration will be filled with the feelings and the realization of the person who's chanting, and that's very individual. So the girlfriends of Srimati Radhika, although they are all also her expansions from the point of view of Tattvavicha, but in the Leela, they have also other services. They have also the, the duty to you know, serve Radhika in, in different ways in their relationship with Mohan to keep the Leela on a high level. So they will chant from that perspective. They will have also their own memories of the Leelas in a different way. So I feel that is another vibration that has another quality. So the quality of the mandaris, because it's the most highest and pure and selfless love they have, and they are the closest. They are Swamini's shadows. They are Swamini's you know, there are so many names. They are Avesh Murtis, they are non different, but different than the Sakis. So their vibration will be filled with the highest feelings that will be able to revive Swamini with the memories of their services and with the purest love that they have, that they are embodying. I don't know, Gopinath, if this is right or wrong, but I'm just babbling out here. Maybe you can help us with what you were feeling uh, feeling here. 
I, I feel nothing. That's my problem always. So I'm so happy to hear what you are just now infusing into this. Um, and it's like um, Goravani brought the chocolate box. Goranga Sundar a bit opened it for us. And Suniti, now you unwrapped it, but now we want to taste it and we want to show it to Gurudev that he can share some of this uh, tastefulness when the kinkari has this intimate savor of bringing somebody back to life. Swamin is unconscious, right? And the Priyasakis and the Kinkaris both are there witnessing how intense emotion she must be going through if you un fall unconscious. And what do the gopis do? They sing immediately Hari's name, of course, because they also like him. They also feel for him, right? And there is this technical term, uh, Samsneya, Vishamsneya or something. No, I'm not such a technical guy. But Radhika Sneya, knowing the most intimate secrets of Radha and Moha, knowing exactly why unconscious she becomes, what she needs now, which pastime, the Maha Mantra, as Guruda says, contains everything of the Prema Vilas Vivarta. It's the highest, actually, the highest emotion is present. So Gurudev, how fortunate the Manjuris are that in this moment they can sing this to Swamini. And how fortunate are we, Gurudev, that we receive this mantra to the mercy of Mahaprabhu and Guru. So Gurudev, how fortunate are we then? In mouth, caramel, milk, chocolate. Is the <laughs> <laughs> I cannot bear it. So good thing. You put, yeah. <laughs> One day I test and I am feeling bad. Vanilla pudding, Gurudev. Ice cream. Car uh, caramel with milk chocolate. <laughs> And then the test is coming, caramel test. No one's listening. When the Vaishnava will give mercy, that is how we will fix up my life. Guru Kripa is there. Kishori Kripa is also there. But without Vaishnava Kripa is not So what is Manjuri feeling in this moment, Lord, that, that she sees Swamini unconscious? That cling is the seed, Gurudev gives the seed. This plant, Kalpataru, Nanda, what is that? This Clipper. Wish fulfilling tree. Uh, so this clipper seed is clean. This is the bija. That's a bija. Why bija? Because this is the seed. It can grow in my life. And this, we can meditate and live in this one. That's the seed. As you take the shape of the plant. And it goes in the circle, in the 
cleansing of the Vaishnava. That is part. Cleansing are very important. When the flock comes, then you need cleansing. That is Vaishnava. Guru Kripa is there. Swamini Kripa is there. But Vaishnava Kripa is important. This is cleansing. Yeah. So, Radhe Radhe, our dear Goranga Sundara was speaking up to Shudanam. But we know from Gurudev there's another level. Vishudanam. We hear about this actually. Vishuddha means we are in our form. We chant the name not for us, for our development. Now we chant the name only for Radharani Seva. That's the next level. But this can only be in Sitadeya. So now we chant these names for Radharani because she actually is falling here in her meditation through the chanting of the Kinkaris. Radharani is falling deeply in her meditation. And that means when the Kinkaris and Swamini are meditate, it will happen. It will exactly happen like this. And then the next sentence Anandadas Babaji is making. That can be another meaning of the brace Paramananda Brindavanam Anucharantam, which is in the beginning in our verse. It's actually the third line of the verse. So what paraphernalia they are getting for Radharani's service? What paraphernalia the Kinkaris are looking for for Radharani's service? I am getting Krishna, the pinnacle of transcendental bliss, for you from Vrindavan. I am getting the pinnacle of transcendental bliss for you. I am chanting for you. And I will get him for you. And this is the highest form of chanting. Gurudev, maybe you can share with us on this point more. Uh, repeat again. In the brace Paramanandam Brindhavanam Anucharantam, which is the third line of the verse, 
it could be mean I am getting Krishna the pinnacle of transcendental bliss for you. So the paraphernalia of my service is actually Krishna. Krishna is now paraphernalia. I will bring him to you. Maha Mantra is a deep meaning. In the Manjari, only see her song. If the Manjari bhav is the sky with Mahamantra, a sky bhav in my Sarupavi, then I see Swami. And then Manjiri say, You are thinking for Krishna, I drink. I bring to you some. Hare Krishna, do what you like. This is your Krishna, this is your Moha. She is waiting, thinking long time. So she, she want to somebody want to steal Krishna. Make one to Krishna. She cannot wait. In front of Manjari, she do that. In breath, so strongly, so strongly, out of the mat. Then somebody embraced, then Radhika is embracing, so Radhika is covered to the Krishna. That is Chaitanya. All is the past time. I see that. In seventies, I realized this, and I meditate from that time. <laughs> I see in Radha Mohan temple this Lila. I was chanting that time by mercy of Buddha. Seventy eighty was my chanting time. I I am very much based in this, and I realize that. Yeah. Guru, it's very interesting that in the commentary of explaining this Maha Mantra, Baba is explaining just first part of Maha Mantra. Hare Krishna, Hare Krishna, Krishna Krishna, Hare. And he said, but there is also relishable and confidential meaning of the Hare 
Rama, half, another half of the mantra. And he stopped. <laughs> and you just was so merciful and you explained us also this Raman Reti that we can relish. Ram but Baba stopped. And Rameti Ram. And, and Ram is Rameti Ram. And the Radha Ram is the Bij Mantra of Radha. Bij Mantra of Radhika is Ram. Because Ra Amma, Radha Amohan. Together is Radha. We can listen, but when we realize it becomes our turn. The beauty is listening also and realizing. Then the, the life fixed, life change when it comes to him, realize something by doing that. And this all must be a Vaishnava. Vaishnava. When any living soul is devotee or not devotee, or are by mistake, he remember one time name of Radha or Good if I feel by listening, by listening you, Agurabani, Goranga or all the Vaishnavas who are speaking. I miss my Jananda Maharaj. He not yeah, he is hiding. Why he hiding? He had too much party, I think. No problem. So we are all also enjoying what he has. He is in the feeling of the Manjari. So he is exclusively serving Swamini. So he has no time. No, my, my, my Guru Tev and the Gaurabhani, Gauranga Sundara Siniti, Gauranga Sundara, this Without your work, I do not feel good. So, can I can I share? Can I share? Yeah, yeah. So, Gora Baniji say very interesting. So we know three nama: nama parada, nama bas, and shuddha nam. And Gora Bani say. Another nam is there. Vishuddha nam. Also, Guru Deva is saying, Sattva, Yuddha Sattva, and Vishuddha Sattva. And Vishuddha Sattva, Guru Deva is saying, Sattva, Shuddha Sattva is soul consciousness. And Vishuddha Sattva is Swarupa consciousness. And uh, Vishuddha Nam means Swarpa consciousness 
and we know fixing one pointed. I was I was just uh, checking this holy names. This is amazing, actually. Gopinata Bai was saying, uh, Saki is chanting and Manjari is chanting. What is the difference? I feel, I don't know, but I feel it. According to perspective, according to which, which sneha, Hishama sneha, Sama sneha, Radha adik sneha, the meaning and also feeling is different. You, generally speaking, we say hare. Hare means we say radarani. But if Manjari's perspective to please Radhika, then Hare means Hari. So Gorabani was saying very nicely this three, three bus eh, Parananda Brindavana Anucharanta. So Manjari was Manjari is always meditating to bring Mohan to Radhika. Also, we know the story in Radharasa Sdanidi or Birapax Manjari. Radhika brought Turasi in the cave of Gobardam and uh, teaching very intimate pastime and very intimate song. But this song, Saki does not understand or does not know because Saki did not see very intimate pastime. But Manjari could see very, very confidential pastime. Also Manjari knows how much feeling, how, how much feeling, why he, why she fainted, what she needed. And I was thinking, for example, Gurudev was sleeping. If Rasarira came, Rasanisa was chanting to Gurudev, hey Gurudev, some another devotee, neophyte devotee came and calling Gurudev. Same Gurudev, Suniti did say, but a different vibration. So this is all these things by the mercy of Gurudev and our Swamini come to into our heart. So I was running from Gora, Goranga Sundaraji. How we chant Hare Krishna Maha Mantra? Because if someone who is fixed Baba, if someone who is Manjari Baba, then feeling is completely different. If say, uh, from beginning Gorabani say, chanting is two kind, ordinary chanting and affectionate chanting. But this yeah. affection, yeah. this affectionate chanting also different kinds. Which Baba we, we stay? Which kind of feeling we have? Which kind of calling? <laughs> that is very interesting. Goranga Sundara very kindly show us and Gurudev kindly show us. This is uh, some, some of interesting feeling I could uh, feel by all Vaishnava's association or Gurudev's association. Thank you very much, Jai Ananda. Jai Ananda. You always bring Ananda to us.
So you just reminded me on the stage of Bava, we have to fix, huh? or otherwise it cannot grow. On the stage of Bava chanting, we have to fix where our Bava should actually grow, right? So then exclusively chanting will come. Exclusively, just on one point. When I chant, I'm calling you, not different persons. I'm calling you. And it's actually natural when I'm calling some person and this person is giving me full mercy, unexpected mercy, so much mercy that I could never ever even have dreamed from. Then I'm so attached to chant that name and no one else. What you say as you will say to me? What? We were just talking about when Bhava rises, and it's so on this uh, platform, it's uh, very um, important to get an exclusive point. For oh. whom I'm chanting. Exclusive point in my salute. That is exclusive. No deviate at the time of chant. Deviation will happen, and that we have to do the sadhana to exclusive to make. It will deviate. My mind will deviate from my istadev. But we have to make exclusively my saru and my samni saru. Sometime meditate in your saru to see your samni. And when you lose your, you, the moment you will come to your soul, you will see your Samni. Samni Sarup, you want to go. Without your Sarup, you will lose it. But if you go to your Sarup to feel Samni, you will stay long time in your history. That is as So like Goranga Sundara said, Bhava gets more intense, more yes. thick, exclusively fixed on one goal. Yeah. But this exclusiveness starts from Ruchi. Because devotee has to have exclusive taste for attaining his exclusive specific goal. And then he is listening only the subjects which can nourish his exclusive taste for attaining his exclusive goal. Yeah. That then, then taste is condensed. Then you say right. Then as for symbolism. Yes. <laughs> and from that point, Raga Bhakti starts. Gora Sundar, Sundar always bring to us in exclusive. I am very proud of Gora. Today I am talking 
I say give one card to Sumiti to draw her. She says she will become independent. I said no one can be independent because your teaching is exclusive. You nobody will leave you here. You are the fixing the sky wall of me. What about others? By listening you, my sky bow becomes more fixed. How Sumiti will become independent? We all want a sky bow. Right? <laughs> but good if I feel also, you know, it's nice to explain all the stages and to feel that it is all true. But for me personally, I feel when you say this to us, when I hear it now, I feel it's a blessing. And because you are saying it to us, and because you are wishing it for us, and because we are hearing it together, I feel it's coming true one day. Intense, Gurudev, intense. intense. And uh, essence intense. and quintessence is coming yes. when we all together, <laughs> then it's become mm, <laughs> chocolate. Then it becomes You know, Gurudev, this book, words I don't know. I don't know much meaning, but one word makes us to meant so much, I cannot say. It. I can feel Gurudev when we are in a point of flow, then Swamini is using our mouse. Yeah. And uh, entering our hearts. So we are swimming in the feeling of her. She is giving this Manjari feelings. Then we can feel her in this condensed situation. Sometimes we, we enter this, no? The uh, Gopinath, we are swimming in the ocean of chocolate and uh, we are drunk with a honey wine. Chocolate with honey wine. Wow. Filled with honey wine. This is Gurudev, Maha Bhagavat usually comes down to be merciful to other fallen souls like you. You're just playing the role. You're not in stai bath like this, yes. That is that I feel the same, Gauravani, because he says you are in Staibav, we can be in Staibav. It's not that we are in Staibav and Gurudev is just like saying yes. No, he says you are there and then we can go there. We are there by your blessing, Gurudev. Honestly, I, I like to be in a Staibav. And why I call Gaurav Sundara that he will say, I will fix myself. He called me or I called you are the center, same. <laughs> it's all your love, Guru. About the car and this, only to see him, and I will, he will sure say something <laughs> to fix my aspect. Yeah, I want to deviate in material topic, but you know. <laughs> God, <laughs> oh <laughs> We are all the time deviated, but you are playing the Leela with us, so we get into the style, Gurudev. That's how I feel it. 
I want to fix mine, my dear. Pray for me, no. I pray to others always. I want. Shri Radhe. Oh. Are you? Swami. Jai Swami Maharaj. Krishna Das Ji Maharaj Ki Jai. Jai Maharaj. Some important Swami is coming. Uh, Hare Krishna Maharaj probably. I don't know. Gopinath can tell us. <laughs> it's from Bengal and he's in Stai. Lakanam. Very good friend of Gurudev. Yeah, they know where the chocolate is. They're coming. Swami, Swami is 41 days. 48 days. 48 days. Chocolate. He will share something to you. I have 51 days. 51 days. I was. Uh, Dandavad. Yeah. Dandavad. Dandavad. Maharaj. Please uh, give uh, some five years ago. I connected with uh, uh, Swami. Nityananda. 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 Swami. Um, of. Uh, say, Bansi. Oh, Singarvet. 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 There uh, I was there for uh, 48 days alone and uh, repeating the name of the Lord for 18 hours from 3 o'clock I, I used to get up at uh, 3 o'clock and from 3 to 6 and again some uh, some rest again 7 o'clock 7 to 9 like that some 18 hours up to night 11 o'clock I was repeating the name of mantra and uh, I, I don't normally I used to I do not take anything but now I will take some uh, so some hot water uh, mixed with uh, uh, some medicine because the, the throat will get uh, par parched. So the, by continuously repeating the mantra, I prayed uh, Radharani to bestow me, to bless me, to write our Bhagavatam. That is the um, um, Radhika Bhagavatam. That the original wow. Bhagavatam uh, written by Vyasa is, uh, is about uh, 18,000 verses which I, I have learned fully that describes about the bhaktas of uh, Prakalata, Durva, Ambarisha, Gajendra and Ajamila. Five bhaktas uh, stories are written or uh, narrated in uh, Bhagavatam. But that happened some years and years, some millions of years ago when the world came into existence. But uh, now I pay Radhika Rani to bless me, to write the, the stories of the present Mahatmas and uh, the Yamuna and the Brindavan, they witnessed the, the Lord Krishna's episodes of 5,000 years ago. And from that time to, to, till date, so many um, uh, Rasa Krida, Krishna's, all the Krishna Leelas were, uh, were, uh, were, uh, were in uh, Ganges, the, the brand, on the shore of uh, Yamuna. So the uh, Yamuna knows, Yamuna witnessed all these uh, um, Krishna Leelas and she knows also that uh, um, um, the Mahatmas who lived all these years and there are so many kings of uh, Rajasthani kings and so many kings they have built some so many uh, palaces and the Yamuna was uh, uh, flowing nearby. So in, in this way I want to write but a, a message also has come that a, a devotee near um, uh, Yamuna is daily, though he is a boatman, is daily is uh, supplying food, that is uh, distributing anasana to some nearly 1,000 to 2,000 people without collecting any money from anybody else. There I used to take my bhiksha or I used to send to my room um, uh, some bhiksha. So I, all these days, I was happy. I was uh, so um, ananda, ananda surupa. Now uh, yesterday, they only now I come down, I come away from um, uh, Yamuna. But what we, I did this morning, I gave, gave a sari was spread in the Yamuna River, 
and the, all the say, scent and the powder and the, all the what all the and the uh, shingar uh, materials were supply or uh, given offered to the uh, goddess yamuna and um, and they also offered some prasad and all that so this uh, i completed my uh, my yeah, virata for 61 days 61 days so again i am i have, I have planned to uh, stay near uh, the arrangements have been made near uh, that uh, radha kund radha kund there i will be staying for uh, two months again uh, parsana parsana for two months like that so my last day my wish is uh, i pray krishna that i want to merge with uh, uh, govardhan govardhan the last person last mahan who merged with uh, govardhan is uh, rupa goswami from 500 years ago that may be a story which i want to uh, pray krishna that i should be a person i should be also a person should uh, everybody should know what is the power of the lord what is the leela of the lord so i i am expecting um, the last blessings and i bless everybody that we always be um, remember his name bhagwan shrinvanti gayanti grananti abhikshana saha smaranti nandandi tavehitam janaha ta eva pashyanti ta eva pashyanti me they alone those who hear the those who repeat those who uh, tell the story of krishna they alone ta eva pashyanti achirena even the time is also time is also prescribed in the bhagavatam achirena means at once immediate immediate sadhyo hridi avridhyate yatra kridivihi sushuvihi dakshanat sadhya means that is at once the moment to hear i enters into the hears through the ear ear karna randrena karna nandam the whole of the ears so for uh, here and dunodi uh, samalam samam dunodi cha avismritihi sri krishna padara vindayo dunodi shichinodi abadrhani samam dunodi cha satvasya suddhim paramatma bhaktim jnana vigyana viraga yukta this the bhagavata shloka krishna says that the continuous remembrance of the lord that purifies your complete mind your mind your, your senses and all that so the, the controlling the mind in the bhagavad gita is so many is prescribed in bhagavad gita how to control the mind um, but here bhagwan says in bhagavad there is no no need to control your mind it simply make you say in a positive way savai mana krishna padara vindayo वसांसे वैगुंड गुणान कर्णने अरो हरे हे मंदिर मार्जनादीषु श्रुतिं च चक्कार अच्युत कदोदये लाइक दैट ऑल द सेंसेस लेट योर माइंड ऑलवेज दैट वाज सवेमन पधार विंदयो ऑलवेज मेडिटेट अपॉन द लोटस फीट ऑफ द लॉर्ड अगेन वसांसे वैगुंड गुणान वसांसे मींस लेट यू स्पीक लेट यू स्पीच बी यूज्ड टू द नरेट द स्टोरी ऑफ कृष्ण अरो हो हरे हे मंदिर मार्जनादीषु let your hands be used to, to clean the the lots uh, 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 lots of temple and um, uh, what are the uh, flower plants the plucky flowers and all the connected with the the bhagwan's and again sudhim cha chakar achuta katote ye means let you are be uh, always here the story of hari krishna mohanda lingaliya darshane dasho that your my let your eyes be used to see the lord lord's lotus form the form the divine form and the sadhya gatra anga sangamam that your body be be used to, to embrace the the bhaktas of krishna and gananam uh, tat pada saroja saurave srimat tulasya let your nostrils be nest your nose be used to the smell the the, the tulsi and the spread the, the lotus feet of the lord rasanam tat tarpite rasana means that uh, all the whatever you eat that let that be offered let the rasa always the rasa the tangul we always to uh, have the rasa of the lord's prasada only and then again the let all let the legs be go to the areke zero that head the siroho padana sarpane padana vandane or head be used to to rotate like that kamam cha dasya na to kama kamyaya let the desire your all this your wishes all this your desires let that be um, towards the, uh, attaining the krishna attaining the krishna like that so you are in gita is uh, in, uh, teaching about the negative method 
ఇంద్రియు ఇంద్రియత్యేషు వైరాగ్యం జ్ఞాన వైరాగ్యం ఇస్తే లైక్ దాట్ బట్ బాహుత ఈ సేస్ దాట్ ఇన్ సింపుల్ వే లెట్ బీ బీ ఇన్ ద వర్ల్డ్ బీ ఇన్ ద వర్ల్డ్ బట్ బీ అవుట్ ఆఫ్ ది వర్ల్డ్ లెట్ ఆల్ యువర్ యాక్షన్స్ బీ అట్రిబ్యూటెడ్ టు ది అటైన్ ది లోటస్ ఫీట్ ఆఫ్ ది లాడ్ సవై భూంసా పరోధర్మ యథా భక్తి అధోక్షసి సవై భూంసా దట్ ఈస్ ది ఆల్ ది హ్యూమన్ బీయింగ్స్ ఇన్ దిస్ వరల్డ్ క్రియేటెడ్ బీయింగ్స్ ఇన్ పరోధర్మ ద బిగెస్ట్ ధర్మ ద హైయెస్ట్ ధర్మ ఇస్ టు నో ది ది అధోక్ష అఘైదుకి అప్రీతి అఘైదుకి మీన్స్ కాస్ట్లెస్ అప్రీతి కథ మీన్స్ అన్ ఇంటర్పెటెడ్ అంత కంటిన్యూస్ రిమంబరెన్స్ అండ్ నో అట్రిబ్యూట్స్ మీన్స్ ది షుడ్ నాట్ ఆస్ ప్రే టు ది లాడ్ దట్ వాట్ ది గీ మీ దిస్ ది గీ మీ దట్ ద గాడ్ కృష్ణ ఇస్ బోర్డ్ వై దిస్ ఫలో ఇస్ కమింగ్ ఐ నవ్ అండ్ దెన్ ఆస్కింగ్ సంథింగ్ సపోజ్ యూ ఆస్ నథింగ్ యుల్ గెట్ ఎవ్రీథింగ్ కృష్ణ ఇస్ సో ప్లీజ్ i i bless everybody that that your life be open for the purpose of krishna only for the purpose of krishna life only hare namaha hare namaha gopika jeevana smaranam govinda govinda thank you thank you well sir like it bring no no Thank you Maharaj so nice to hear your divine words and I, we can feel your your divine vibration we can feel how much mercy is coming from your mouth from the lotus feet of Shrimati Radhika from the lotus feet of the babas and from your chanting and such a high high vibration thank you and bless us also that one day we will be like you also radhe radhe yes. radhe radhe please bless us <laughs> and to be in vrindavan from today he will stay here no. <laughs> yeah. again i will be another round where some where something around yesterday i had been to somewhere and distributed uh, sarees to the poor in the panikat area in the uh, 150 150 rupees again every evening i used to spend with the children you should distribute the some prasad some food and all that yeah. Yeah. we can hear you all here i think our waiter in bangalore we are talking ah ba tasil bangalore oh yeah every every evening 5:30 i used to come out i not in army we not come out used to come out and there are so many children playing there we used to give the, the girls the small the, the, the wow. girls they used to get put this uh, bangles right. and the boys will you know, ding 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 like that the boys will go around and the little girls will small girls will go around i used to distribute every day something samosa or uh, kachori yeah. something i used to buy from the market or uh, so many for all the days all the 40 days so the uh, the children were very happy so the god uh, you, you have to teach our children the, the name of the what is the uh, lords uh, so we are also fine happy in that that's why we doing puja and our we our mind is going outside what is it be with the children be with the uh, always play with them we are very happy so lord is also happy and uh, one man there he said that amuna came uh, uh, there is a message has come amuna came in the form of a child balak roop mein idhar aaya tha balak roop mein i will be I also uh, i i can you prasada from adiram and all that so from that day i used to give everything every day uh, sari whatever i have mm-hmm. uh, i was very happy mm-hmm. so let, let the, uh, because of god has given this eyes the ears and everything the money also mm-hmm. money and not only money mind is very important has given everything mm-hmm. so i want to attain uh, the maximum mm-hmm. maximum in this life i written books and bhagavatam mm-hmm. and all that Upanishad, I know Upanishad mm-hmm. Sunday, I know all the Upanishad and all that, Bhagavatam, Vedanta, that's everything. But there mm-hmm. is no use, of no use. You have to go on, mm-hmm. weep for this. You have to weep, always weep, weep, weep. How to go? Jaya da saranam bojam. This is also Bhagavatam Swagam. Mm-hmm. Jaya da saranam bojam. Bhava nirjita chedasa. Audhindya mm-hmm. da ashukala chasya. Pridhyasi me shanei dari. Just the... the, the that roll down on your eyes the detail down this side from this side if you in dukkha it will come this side this is saltish this is this is sweet this is so chill this is so hot 
it is like that outgoing mm-hmm. means with the prayer the prema with the prema yes, let your eyes be filled with the ananda uska naam tha so he says that ಅನಂದ <laughs> ಭಕ್ತ <laughs> ಕಾಲಂ ಪ್ರದೀಕ್ಷಣೆ ಶೀಘ್ರ ಶೀಘ್ರಂ ಅಗುದ ಇಮೇಜಂ ದರ್ಶನ ಯಾದಿ ಚೇದಸಿ ಇಮೇಜ್ ಐ ಗಾಟ್ ದಿ ದರ್ಶನ್ ಕೃಷ್ಣ ಸೊ ದೇರ್ ಆರ್ ಸೋ ಮೆನಿ ವರ್ಸಸ್ ಇನ್ ಭಾಗ ಇನ್ ಕಲಿಯುಗ ಇಟ್ ಇಸ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಟು ಡೂ ದಿಸ್ ಜಪ ಜಪ ಡಾಂಡ ದಿಸ್ ಇಸ್ ಎವ್ರಿ ಥಿಂಗ್ ವೆರಿ ಡಿಫಿಕಲ್ಟ್ ಗೋಬಿಸ್ ಫಾರ್ ನಾಟ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ಫಾರ್ ದೇ ಆರ್ ನಾಟ್ ರೆಡಿ ಶಾಸ್ತ್ರ ದೇ ಡೋಂಟ್ ಹ್ಯಾವ್ ಎನಿ ವರದ ತಪ ಅಂಡ್ ಆಲ್ ದಟ್ ಅಸಂಗಾತ್ಮ ಉಪಾಗತ ಬೈ ಅಸೋಸಿಯೇಷನ್ ವಿತ್ ಗುಡ್ ಪೀಪಲ್ ಅಲೋನ್ ದೇ ಅಟೈನ್ ದಟ್ ಸಚ್ ಅ ಸ್ಟೇಜ್ so it is easy it is easy way because we are now surrounded with so many things so many desires so many things it makes us attract us so you should keep away from that for some time you have to be away from this uh, normal life way of life say one or two months or six months actually i want to be here for six months alone with the dog like right? but i i must have darshan i pay, pay for other uh, to my darshan he said i the pai came in the farm i know what is happening and then that i know my mata ji i don't want like this i want to have a personal thing i want to see you personally i want to talk with you i want to see you i want to chat with you i want to uh, yeah. like that so that also will get it because i have to be you have to be prepared the lord will make some to prepare us because if, if she comes means we will be afraid you know that to try to hear feel trained i told you radhe radhe maharaj very nice words from you thank you very much we were just reading about the chanting like you said and we were reading that this chanting leads to service and that this service of the kinkari is actually bringing krishna for radha and then the kinkari is disguise krishna as a girl and bring him to shrimati in yavat and this actually when when he is touching her she finally regain consciousness and what a great service these kinkaris are performing here this was the topic today thank you very much that you shared with us on this also thank you so much hare krishna hare krishna hare krishna see you soon hare krishna hare krishna